Hey all, it is September, which means that it is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Today, rather than spew information to you and provide you with facts, I thought it would be beneficial if we walked together through some of the resources that are available for those that are looking for help themselves, to support somebody they know, or whether you're looking to be an advocate and give back. So let's take a look at the first resource available, and that is the National Alliance of Mental Illness. The first resource is the National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI. NAMI provides a lot of great information for those looking to learn more about mental health issues. The site is organized by tabs at the top of the page. Each tab provides more information on a certain topic. For example, wanting to learn more about mental health illness, including warning signs and symptoms, for example, more about research, or the treatments available. One tab includes your journey. It's for those individuals with a mental health illness, for family members and caregivers looking to support a family member, or for kids, teens, and young adults. A tab includes information about support and education on mental health topics. They also provide information on how you can get involved The site also includes information on how you can be an advocate to the mental health community. When you identify something you want to learn more about, you simply click on that tab to take you to that page. Here, you'll have a brief summary of what that page will include. It also includes opportunity for you to jump to a certain page within that topic, or you can simply scroll until you find what you're looking for. In this example, let's say we want to learn more about treatments. You have the opportunity to click on a particular treatment, which would take you to a subsection of the page to learn more about those treatments, or you can learn more about what treatment is in general by clicking on the Learn More tab. Here, you get a summary of what treatment might include, but it also includes a section for each of the treatments that was listed on the page prior. If you want to learn more about a specific treatment in this example, you can click on one of the links at the top of the page. This will take you to a subsection which allows you to learn more about that specific treatment. The last thing I'll mention from the NAMI website is that it also allows you to look for information and resources based on the state in which you're living uh, at that time. This provides additional resources and information for contact purposes. The second resource that I'd like to take a look at today is the National Foundation of Suicide Prevention. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention site is similar to the NAMI website in that it provides a number of resources for those that are either currently going through a mental health crisis, for those looking to support somebody going through mental health illness, or in making a difference in giving back to the mental health cause. This website, like NAMI, allows you to scroll tabs at the top of the page, which will provide additional resources on a number of different topics. And upon identifying a topic that you'd like to learn more about, 
clicking the link will take you to an additional page with additional information on that particular topic. Both of these resources provide a great deal of information that is truly valuable as it relates to mental health issues. The American Foundation for Suicide Prevention site does seem to provide more stories from individuals who have either gone through mental health crisis or from those that support others going through that, which is beneficial to hear their story from a real individual. As you've seen, we've only covered two resources that are available, but there's been a wealth of information that we covered and we barely scratched the surface. There's information for those that are going through a mental health crisis, for those that are supporting somebody going through a mental health crisis, and for those that are looking to advocate and give back. And while we covered two resources, there are so many more out there. And I'd encourage you to continue exploring and to look for information that you would find beneficial. As we continue through September and beyond, I'd encourage you to be kind, to lift one another up, and to be a support and resource for those that may be in need. That's it for this episode of Take 10. We'll see you next time.